Hiring boom in the field of artificial intelligence. According to a new recent report out there, weekly job postings related to AI is up 450% from just a year ago. It is astonishing. So that said, we know that AI is already posing an existential threat to other jobs. Earlier this year, Goldman Sachs predicted that AI could eventually replace 300 million wow. full-time jobs globally. That impacting jobs often considered automation proof. And the impact of that could soon come than you think as well. A new McKinsey Global Institute study found 12 million Americans may need to switch jobs by 2030. Mm -hmm. Don't look now. That's in seven years from yeah. now. Lower wage workers are expected to be most impacted. You know, so I recently spoke with Dr. Patrick Dix, an expert in artificial intelligence and automation, about the future with AI. Yes, it is a threat. And one of the things with artificial intelligence, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the things is it is life altering, but it also helps out. And there are many great things that artificial intelligence can do to make many tasks more um, simplified for people and to help out in other fields. Well, let's break it up then. <clears throat> if it is a threat, what is it a threat to? It's a threat to jobs, as we would say, that are repetitive. Um, it's a threat to um, if you're a cashier, if you're an administrative job. Um, fast food, those types of jobs. And there's also a threat to certain white collar jobs, you know, where artificial intelligence can step in and take over thinking and certain tasks that actually will make things cheaper and lower operational costs for companies. So if folks are in those jobs right now, because you, you're calling them jobs that are repetitive, right? Mm -hmm. So if they're thinking about their jobs and like, hey, wait, that's me, what do they need to do? Um, there are three things they need to do. First off, you've just said the first thing. They think about, they're thinking about their job and they know it's repetitive and they know they can be eliminated too, they need to retrain. They need to earn a different skill set. You either need to go into a blue collar field, which is HVAC electricians, plumbers, construction, etc., and into the white collar field, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, mm -hmm. We're talking about civil engineer, civil engineers, computer, computer engineers, network engineers, AI engineers, mm -hmm. and robotics, etc. Are we going to see more and more people, not only in, in these repetitive jobs, but in other jobs that cause you to try to be creative, those are going to be lost as well. Yes, it definite, definitely can replace those people. There is a writer strike going on right, right now, and there is so much information readily available on the internet. So algorithms that are comprised in artificial intelligence and chat GPT can go out, find that information, and write a script for a comedian or a, even a movie script. So those types of jobs can definitely be eliminated. I mean, it almost sounds like no one's immune, even our industry, right? So Correct. we're seeing some of that as well. So we're going to be continuing our AI series all week long. It is fascinating. So we do invite you to tune in tomorrow morning because that's going to be part two of my conversation with Dr. Dix. He's going to get into the benefits of AI because there definitely are benefits, especially in the medical field where they can, you know, years and years of research can be done within a few months. Right. And we've seen it in construction. We did a story a couple of months back where construction's already using yep. AI. And exactly. it's Exactly. It's amazing. Always looking for ways to reinvent yourself mm -hmm. is now uh, top of mind. But there's a mind. cost to the benefit, yeah, right? Course, As we yeah. have seen. Okay, straight ahead.